and greetings and salutations, you guys. Welcome to another episode of the of Vlogmas. Today's gonna be a thrifting day though, so I'm really excited to take you guys out thrifting with me. It is a late start today, it is Sunday, and um, I have a ton of stuff in the back that I'm dropping off um, to Vadrian. We're all, we're gonna do the shipping this week for all of the sales that we had, like from Black Friday up till last night, and it was, it, spectacular thank you guys so much for all your purchases and support um i've i try to like um get rid of lots of like my back stocks so that way we can make room for new inventory this coming year and i can't wait to see what this year is gonna have in store for us so i'm super duper excited um but yeah it's like literally like 12 58 almost 1 p.m this is the latest i've ever started on a sunday but i was trying to organize stuff um, this morning and last night before I dropped it off to Adrian and I uh, I think I was up until about 6 a.m. and then I woke up at around 10 so um, just a few hours of sleep but we are good to go and I'm really excited to go thrifting and can't wait to take you guys along and also the rest of the videos I'm filming today though will be up throughout the rest of the week so don't forget to check out those videos again two videos every day for the month of December uh, through the week so Monday through Friday and then Saturdays and Sundays just one video um, what else was I gonna tell you guys yeah thrifting videos are up at 7 a.m. the vlogs are up at 2 but sometimes the vlogs will also have thrifting if that's what I'm doing that day and oh yeah also um, another update this coming um, Saturday uh, I told you guys in last night's live, but the coming Saturday we're not having a live sale because we're having a party for Cade, so I'm going to be unavailable for the sale. Uh, but we're still having one on Friday, and then I might do a makeup sale on either Sunday or Monday. I'll keep you guys posted, and if you haven't followed us or added um, our thrifting, our thrift squad group in Discord, I'm going to have that link down below in the description box. It's super fun. I love chatting with you guys, and I also made subcategories as well. So if you guys have any questions, about like authenticate authentications or authenticating certain items that um, myself or one of the third squad can help you with you can post those photos there that's another thread for handbag rehabs another one for if um, any of you guys are selling anything or just listed anything um, you can put up photos or like a link to your shop on there so people can go check it out and I think it's just gonna be like a great thing for our community to have so we can all communicate with each other better and i love that like a lot of you guys have become friends as well in our um live sales so it's like a great way for everyone to chat and um interact with each other so i'm very excited about it it's the best we just made it on i just made it oh yeah i made it on friday night yeah friday night is when i made it um right before the sale so i'm slowly trying to figure out how to use it and i just added in those subcategories within our room so really excited anyway that's enough talking let's go thrifting all right here we are at the store go inside and check it out we have this really cute um this is a ficus audrey i actually have like an actual ficus audrey plant but this is like a little fake one it's 25 bucks we also have these blue swivel chairs, which are cute. I think these are from Target. Oh, they're like a rocking chair, not swivel. Do they swivel? <gasps> they swivel and rock. Thank you. Cute. And I found this Mopi charging Stainless steel cutlery set. A fusion cooker. Like something that's an iPad cases. They have some cell phone cases right there. Oh, that Heyday one's actually kind of cute. I'm looking for some cases for Christmas or long, so let's see. There's also that Apple. I think that's an Apple charger, $4.99. I'll take a look at those again later. Let's look through the rest of the store first and see if we can find anything cool. They have some foil, tape, kitchen stuff. I always like to look through here in case there's anything interesting. Let's check out the rest of the furniture. And 
linens. I like those knit pillows, those are cute. But more like a fall vibe. I'm trying to look for something for um, the house that's gonna go with Kay's birthday party theme. That's like still kind of Christmassy. Like down alternative pillow. Ooh, this is a Casa Luna. This is actually like kind of nice. It's been opened already. This is cute too. This is a fun pillow also. This little stool is kind of nice. This one's $50. Oh, is this a cart? I think it's a... Oh no, it is kind of like a bar cart. Is it missing the wheels? Or is it supposed to be like that? I feel like it's actually supposed to be like that, right? This is actually kind of cool. 60 bucks. Interesting. I feel like I kind of like this. Would it be weird to have like a bar cart in my room? But like for um, handbag repair supplies and stuff? Like this is kind of cool. I wouldn't really need to move it too much. I don't think it's missing tires. I also think this is actually an outdoor piece, but I don't know. We'll see. Then over here looks like some more stools. This side table is pretty nice, except something I drew on it, which is unfortunate. Fifty dollars. This one actually might be the Studio McGee one. Also, this is nice. Outside table. Dog stuff and toys. What are those? Sand toys? Oh my gosh, you guys remember these. Oh, this little Christmas tree is actually super cute. They're $7.99. Usually fifteen dollars at Target. I was looking for like a cute tiny tree, and I can I want to put like little SLGs on it or like tiny handbags. This actually might be like the perfect thing. It's really cute. I'm actually gonna think about this one. There's a couple of them, so look how fun that is. These other trees, but these other trees are just like regular size. It's like way too big. Yeah, these little trees are so cute, right? I feel like this might be it. I want to practice with like, um, like, they're like this size, right? But is it like that too big? Like literally it's like the whole tree. No, maybe it's too, maybe it's too small. Maybe it's, maybe it's a tad bit larger. We are still on the hunt. They still have those fake crystal things. They have a bunch of seashells and stones and these look like they're for chandeliers. There's some starfish. A unicorn. Some fake lemons. I mean, you can't go wrong with fake lemons. A nice vase filler. Another unicorn, a little planter, some cherub. What is this? Phytoceramide eye cream for all skin types. Soleil, $3.99. We have entered the fill plant section. What? I thought this was like a real plant that was like dying. I was like, what? Those little green things are kind of interesting. And the baskets. I do love a good basket. I just got one from the store for mom that she really likes. But these are great to put in like Christmas presents or whatever. Or if you're going to bring like some baked goods to someone's house and then just give them the basket also. Baskets are very useful. 
do a lot with them. Do you guys see any interesting skin or hair products in here? Let's see. Crystal stuff, glass stuff, whatever that is. I don't know if you guys see anything. It's like a vintage Pyrex or is it just like coming off already? Ooh, these are interesting. Like candle holders? Oh my gosh, they're kind of heavy. I don't know if they used to have tops. Probably not. I don't know where they're from. But these are kind of cool. There's three of them. I don't see any markings on them either. These are pretty nice too. Um, oh, $19.99. Wait, there's a sticker on it from somewhere. It's from, oh no, Diamond Star Corp. So I don't know where that's from. There's also this vase, it's kind of cool. No markings for the vase. <gasps> oh, how cute, this pineapple. I don't see any markings on there either. I'm just like checking everything. This might be like a, what is that brand? Um, is it water? Is it, no, I don't think it's water for, um, I can't put my finger on it. What is it called? Not Lennox. Um, oh, Mikasa, it might be a Mikasa piece. Does this have anything on it? No. Now my weakness, the plates. Ooh, a lemon plate, this is cute. This is melamine, so it's plastic. Oh, they still have these plates. I was like obsessed with these last week when I saw them. I think they're so pretty, but they're still not on sale. So I'm being strong. I only told myself that I was gonna get them if they went on sale. But it's not gonna stop me from looking at all the other plates, right? This is festive, the fruits. This is cool too, my inner grandma loves this. I love a, bl a bright floral plate. Oh, these are huge plates. You can even use this as like a charger type of thing. But usually like for chargers are like a good like texture or color or something. Happy anniversary. Oh, oh check this out, this is cute. It's a clear um, calendar board. Oh, it's a rifle paper code. This is expensive. Well, rifle paper is expensive. Like the brand, I think. Wondering if the other piece is in there. The gold piece. I found it, you guys. It's $30 originally at Target. Oh, that's pretty cute. But I think it's missing like the, some of the pieces to hang it up. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. <laughs> I think I saw this plate last time, I thought it was cute. I like the prints, but it's definitely faded. Um, oh, that's a pretty one. Hey, that's a good floral plate. I love that there's someone here in the store named Adrian, and every time I hear them call his name, I always think that it's me. Now in, I'm in the mug section. Uh, well, I like this. No, it's not a Starbucks mug. Always on the hunt for something Starbucks. Or Anthropology, perhaps. These llamas are so cute. Oh, there's an Anthropology mug. Woo. An S Anthro mug right here. 99 cents. Looks to be in good shape. Think I'll be grabbing me one of those. This um duck mug is so adorable. Washenbach or wa I can't pronounce that, but that's actually really cute. 99 cents. This one says 
Si, yes, we. Oui. Oh, yes, in different languages. Okay. Spanish, French, and English. Oh, this whale mug is cute, too. Very nautical. We do love the nautical vibes. We have these bracing mugs with the lips. Oh, I love Grandpa. That's cute. What is this? Follow your dream. There's a We Are Family mug right there. I think that might be it for the mugs though, but I'm pretty excited to find this answer one because I love collecting all of the um, letter anthropology mugs. There's this beautiful Starbucks cup. This one's classy. $4.99 though. A hmm. little pricey. Maybe I'll look it up. But I don't, I don't imagine this one being too expensive resale, but I haven't been reselling mugs recently. But I always like to pick them up if they're worth something. And I'll just hoard them. <laughs> and then maybe sell them off eventually. Found it. This one for 21 bucks. Mm, I'll probably just leave it. Maybe if it goes on sale and it's still here. But it's a cute mug. Let's see these cups. I haven't found any um, Tiffany stuff for a hot second, so I'm definitely on the hunt. I think I'm all Tiffany'd out from that one time that I found like so much Tiffany in one day. Like it was a crazy day, but it was so good. I actually really like this cup. I think it's really cool looking. I want like a vase kind of like this. It's like taller and like maybe this, these spaces are more like the ribbing or whatever that design is is closer together. That'd be really pretty as a vase. Oh, this is cool. Okay, don't think I see anything there. Let's turn around and look at this. Ooh, this platter. Look at these birds. It's kind of cool. We have a starfish one right here. This one is from Mud Pie. I saw that leaf one last time. I think it's from like Green Girl or something, but it's chipped. And then this one's chipped too. This one's from Target. I actually have a marble version of this, which I am obsessed with. I think it's so pretty. I love that shape too for the bowls. I think that's really cool. Oh, this teapot is really pretty. It's the anthropology. It is Princess Anna, or Princess Anne, fine bone china, made in England. I'll look through these cups and I'll say anything that you want. Hydro flask. Who are these? Oh, they're like little bells. Not a hydro flask. Womp womp. Yeah. Um, that. These always look like Yetis. And I always think this one is good, but it's not. This one's been there, been here for a while. This might be anthropology. Let's smell it. Hmm, that smells pretty nice. Alright, you guys, we just got home. Um, let's get everything inside and go get something to eat. I'm starving. Okay, mom, I just got some really cute flowers today, I guess. Look at that. Yay for flowers, mom. Okay, just got into the kitchen. Mmm, the house smells really good. Okay, there must be something in here, hopefully. Ah, it's empty! Oh, there's nothing. Oh, wait, here we go. Chicken. Yum. I think this is barbecue on stick. Let's open it up. Oh, barbecue. 
Yum. But before we eat, I want to show you guys um, the case that I got mom. I got her another case because the case that I ordered her on Amazon, it said that it was like MagSafe, but I don't think I noticed that it was MagSafe like this that has like the magnet built into the case so that she can put like the pop socket, that magnetic one onto her phone that she has that I got her last time. And she really likes that um, pop socket because like you can pop it off and then really easily and then you can um, charge it with like a wireless charging thing and with that case that I got her it would like still slip off like it would stick but then it would like move around um so had to get her one that had this but this one's super fun it's like super duper glittery and I hope she likes it I think um yeah they didn't have any more of the Kate Spade cases I think they all sold out or something it's, um I don't know but this one was on sale so I think it's cute all right, we're gonna give this to her though, but um, yeah, she's already in her room, so I'll, you guys will see it on her phone tomorrow or something. All right, here is my salad. I have just lettuce, tomatoes, and I put black sea salt in there. Um, I put some egg, and then this was the beef skewers, and that is my dinner. And then I'm going to, this was from the sink, squashed it. And I'm gonna make coffee because I haven't had coffee today. And I really want to drink something nice and warm. Oh, gingerbread is so good. If you guys have Nespresso, you guys have to try gingerbread because it's so, so good. It's like my favorite. It's so yummy and I'm obsessed. And yeah, so I'm gonna make my coffee that I'm gonna eat and then I'll see you guys again in a second. All right, I've got my coffee. Time to eat, yum. Also, this is like a weird combo, like <laughs> coffee with salad. I mean, that's normal, right? I just. I just want to be warm, so just want to have something hot. Okay, I finished eating. Now it's time to just clean up a little bit and get like the kitchen situated. I think I might also clean the stove. Yeah, it looks a little gross, right? I'm like trying to cut down on how often I clean the stove <laughs> because I um, I feel like I'm rubbing off all of these little things on here, like the writing, which is definitely coming off. So I'm trying to preserve it, but. It's like inevitable, like it's just gonna come off. <laughs> Now that I'm like kind of sweating a little bit, I just finished um, pretty much cleaning up the kitchen. Um, I just need to bring that stuff to the laundry. Turned on Roomba, so Roomba, or Roomba, Narwhal, oh my gosh, Narwhal can um, 
clean. I'm having Narwhal vacuum, and then later on, Narwhal's gonna be mopping, but I'm just going to bring this upstairs. Oh, look at this, our neighbor brought these uh, kumquats to us. So sweet, very excited about those. Kumquats are delicious. And so put that away. Um, what else are we gonna tell you guys? I think that's pretty much it. Like I still need to put away that stuff, but I think I'm gonna figure out all that stuff tomorrow. And right now we're going to, oh, I'll show you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift. We'll do like a little holly haul, and then we're gonna end today's Vlogmas episode. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I really wanted to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill because I found some really cool stuff. Um, okay, so first things first, I got this letter S anthropology mug. It is so cute. Um, I love collecting anthropology letter mugs. I want to hopefully collect one day the entire alphabet from the thrift. I don't have very many though in this, from this collection. This collection, I think I only have like a small handful, like maybe four or five. But it's growing. I have more of, there's like a, um, a white, like a basic, like a white mug with like the black writing or the gold writing, but it's like, they're the same, but they just have different color writing. Um, for that one, I think I'm almost done with the alphabet. I just have a few letters that are like impossible to find. Like I don't have X and I don't have, I think I don't have the letter U and W. I think that might be it. I don't remember. I need to I need to make a list of what I like the letters that I need. But yeah, so always excited to find these. This was only 99 cents, so very excited. Then you guys are not gonna believe this, but like as I was checking out, um, I saw this and it was like kind of like behind the register on the cart that was like to go back to the floor, I guess, I think is where it was. But I found this bag, and okay, like what like when I saw it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I can't, I don't know if you guys know um, this style of bag, but this is like the Bottega Veneta bag, and they also make, like the Bottega Veneta cassette bag, they make it in a nylon, but um, unfortunately this wasn't Bottega Veneta, but I love the bag like so much anyway, like it doesn't say Bottega Veneta or anything on the inside of the bag, but this was $7.99. It, it looks like almost like the actual thing. Um, it has like this little pouch, which is cute. Um, I feel like there's like a little bit of, I don't know if that's like water damage or there's like a little bit of like a darkening right there. But other than that, I mean like the rest of the bag is in great shape and I love the color. Uh, I think it's just a fun bag. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or just like maybe I'll just keep it for a while. I do like how soft the bag feels. It's super squishy and it's like a pillow. So let me like, I haven't tried on to see how long I like the strap. But isn't it so cute, you guys? Like, I'm, I was so excited when I found this. Um, Let's see. I feel like, is this like a good length? Yeah, I think that's cute, okay. Let me see if I can put the hole through this. Yes, we made it through. <laughs> this is kind of hard. I don't wanna like, there we go. Ooh, ah. It's actually really, really cute, right? I love like the pop of green. I've been really into green recently, along with silver. Green and silver, I feel like, have been my colors recently. Um, I got like these awesome green Starbucks cups, and I feel like that's kind of like one of the things that like inspired me and like really made me like look for green things. I don't know. And then um, silver. Ever since I found this. Was it this one that I found first? This um, Chanel belt bag in silver. I've been like, everything that's silver, I'm just like, ooh, I'm like drawn to it. Cause I didn't think I would like silver that much, but then like I was carrying this and I was like, oh wait, I do love silver metallic bags. So it's amazing. It's like changed my life. So now like green and silver are like, yes. But this is so cute. I'm really excited about this. And it's a pretty good size. And this just like, fits really nicely like on your shoulder and it's super soft. So. You know, I like it. It's exciting and really cheap. So it was a good deal. I'm very happy. Uh, so 
got that. And then I didn't film it, but I did go to Costco, or Costco. <laughs> Costco. I need to go to Costco. But I went to Target and I uh, got mom that cell phone case. I think I showed you guys when um, I got I first got home. Uh, but I already gave it to her and switched it out so that she can hold her phone comfortably with the pop socket that I got her. Like the MagSafe uh, magnetic one. It's just like this. These are literally the best. Like when they invented this, like it literally has changed my life for the better. It is, I feel like, one of the best inventions in life for, like, cell phones. I don't know. But whoever invented this, like, bless your soul. You are amazing. Because it's, like, it's so handy. And I love that I can just take off the pop socket and then charge it. And that was always my problem, too. When I was putting um, my phone into, like, the little holder in the car, the pop socket was always in the way and the phone would pop out. And now I can just take it off, but I actually don't even take it off anymore because I normally, I have like a little, um, what is it called? I have like a little, uh, thing that this like goes into and then like it just like goes onto the car. So it's amazing. I love it. I highly recommend it. It is a little expensive because just for the magnetic, like this thing, it's, it's $30. And the bag safe cases are a little bit more pricey as well. I think I got the one I got from mom for $30. It was on sale, but I think you can find them for a good price. But you do need the mag safe case that has the mag safe thing on the back for this. But I feel like this is like a good little present. Like it's, I think it's awesome. Like it's a great stocking stuffer, great gift. Um, it's very useful and like literally use it every day of my life. So it's fantastic and I am very excited about it. Uh, then, I also got our new little mascot. He's our new live sale mascot. I found this um, sleeping Pikachu at Target and uh, love at first sight. I'm so excited. He's so cute. And the best thing too is that I actually have a small version of him. Like, it's like probably like this big. And I have him inside my car. He's like my driving companion. And now I have um, him along um, for the ride during our live sales. So I have the larger version of him. He's so squishy and soft. And to top it off, he was on sale at Target. I think um, he normally retails for like 30 something dollars. And I think I got it for, got it for 20. So now we have our little Pikachu. I'm so excited. I feel like he definitely needs like some sort of bag or something though. Like let's put this, you know, like something cute. Pikachu like needs his own Chanel bag, right? Like this is adorable. Isn't that cute? So yeah, anyway, there we go. Um, and that actually is going to end today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. Um, I know that this vlog like we didn't do too much other than just like the thrifting. It was almost just like a regular thrifting video. But that's pretty much all I did today. And it was a good day. So I hope you guys had a great day as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please um, give the video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family um, who also love thrifting and great deals and stuff like that. Tune in to today's... Oh, don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow at 7 a.m. The new vlog is up at 2. And we do have a live sale coming up this Friday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And this week... Um, or at least, like, uh, normally they're every Friday and Saturday, but on Saturday, the sale, um, we're not having a sale because I, we're having a family party, so, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be unavailable, but I'll let you guys know.